This is actually my third attempt. Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the single motor Cabo Manis. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong. And also huge thanks to Zwinne Miasto for providing me this scooter for testing purposes. All the links are below. If there are any discounts as well, they will be mentioned in the description. This Cabo Mantis is actually one of the lowest configurations that you can get in the Cabo Mantis line. Therefore, it's also cheaper at around 1,200 euro and it's way lighter at 24 kilograms. So even this is a pretty big scooter, it's not much heavier than a 9 Bot Max. One of the most important features is the suspension, which as you can see is really, really soft and might be just a hair tighter than on a very similar scooter, the TechLife X7. There's a single motor in the rear providing you with around 1300 watts of peak power. And normal power is, I guess, 650, 800 watts, I don't really know. This is not a speed demon. The maximum top speed I could reach throughout a longer period of time was around 40, maybe 45 kilometers an hour, 50 kilometers an hour, I could only reach downhill. The battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour unit, so actually pretty much the same size that comes in the smaller version of the Speedway Mini 4 Pro. The range I could get out of it with moderate driving was around 25 kilometers. You can see all the stats on the screen and I think it's a pretty decent performance. It comes standard with a 2 amp charger, so charging time is around 6 to 7 hours. It comes in a set with two mechanical disc brakes. These are just mechanical discs, uh, nothing hydraulic here. I think they're enough for this sort of configuration and this sort of speed. But again, if you would mount some hydraulic brakes here, this thing would stop on a dime. And look at these beautiful sun rays there. This looks awesome. Taking a closer look at the handlebar, we can see that naturally also the brakes, front and rear. Here is the button to turn on and off the light. And it probably has the brightest side LEDs that I have ever seen on an electric scooter. Just look at how bright it is. And when you're riding in the night, you will get a lot of attention. Yeah, this lighting on the side. Now, there are, there are also tail lights and they also have brake lights which is really nice but, and there's also front lighting but it just indicates that a scooter is riding towards you rather than lighting up anything like in front of the scooter uh, the handlebar does not fold but i don't mind that too much and sadly it does not come with a mini motors display just this usual uh, display 
that you can see on cheaper scooters. And I wish Zvina Miasto would give you also a key or a remote so you can just lock up the scooter and nobody else can turn it on easily when it's locked uh, on a bicycle chain or something else. It is super easy to mount this as an accessory, but I wish this, this would come standard. The scooter naturally also folds, it has two of these quick release clamps and it's pretty easy to fold it at any time. Now I wish this whole mechanism would be maybe a bit higher, a bit more robust, a bit bigger than I would feel safer on a scooter. There is no play on the steering column anyways, but still this thing is a bit bigger on the Tech Life scooters and Zero scooters and yeah, I think it should be a bit bigger. And as standard, you can actually lock the steering column in place to make lifting the scooter easier. Easily lift it and go back home. The mud guard naturally is too short, but there's but there's also an add-on you can put in here to uh, make it work better. Yeah, mud guards and scooters not the best combination. Another thing that I really like about this scooter and also the quite similar Tech Life X7 is that it's probably the most comfortable scooter to ride on in the city. Let me explain. First up, you have a really long deck, which is really comfortable. There's also a footrest, which is also quite sturdy and the handlebar is also quite high giving you a super comfortable position on the road let me just show you super super comfortable way comfortable than a wall for your 11 plus as said in this category of scooters you can't go more comfortable than on the mantis or the tech life x7 now the mantis does feel a little bit more sporty i feel like the suspension is tuned more to the road a bit less bouncy Maybe it just feels the tiniest of increments of stability better on the street. And yeah, I'm very curious to find out what the Mantis GT or Pro is like. Put them side by side against a Tech Life X7. Naturally, we also do need to test the hill climbing abilities of each scooter. Now this has 1350 watts, but actually the climbing abilities might not be like so insane. This is a 10 degree hill and let me just show you how it handles it at full power. Yeah, still does accelerate, but still does accelerate, but I think more than 10 degrees will be quite difficult, especially if you are a heavier rider. Like small hills, for sure you can tackle with more speed way more easy. But if you live in a very hilly area, I would suggest getting a scooter that is more powerful. The tires are super thin. I think they're like 2, 125 wide, but still 10 inches and tube tires. So that's good. And that's also excellent for the comfort. So this scooter really looks awesome. It is a bit cheaper than the other and the other Manus models because of the battery size and because of the single motor in the rear. Now in terms of like performance this won't give you like a lot of performance. This is just a faster I don't know Xiaomi N 365 in terms of performance in terms of hill climbing. You can reach 35 40 kilometers an hour as you have seen in my tests but nothing more than that. To go faster you either need a bigger battery like 52 volt or 60 volt on the Mantis I think Pro that's what it's called and of course also an additional motor. This scooter is for someone who really really needs the comfort and doesn't need a bigger range so if you just go to the work 5 kilometers 10 kilometers you can't go wrong with this scooter. So if you're still here leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.